Daddy friends, Connie here for Kidaholics Kids, and today I am doing a, a 9 by 12 layout using the new April kit, which is absolutely fantastic, which I just love so much. It's got so many pretty papers and stuff. Anyway, um, so right now I've sort of done this video in like the night before, and I finished the rest stuff the next day um, because. Here I am using the um, Color Blast um, paste and um, it's in the bling color which is a gold and it is absolutely awesome. And I'm just using my um, Dina Wakely um, medium size brush I think that is because it has really really hard bristles on it because I really wanted a, a roughish type textured type of a look. And I'm just um, painting some stripes down my white cardstock. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to um, build up a bit of texture. Some areas thicker, some areas a little bit thinner. And I'm just trying to yeah, yeah build up that texture. And um, you will see the brush strokes because of the hard um, bristled brush. And I love those brushes. They are... Um, that set is one of my favorite brushes set that I have. So now this is the next day. So now I'm going to um, start doing my layering technique. So this is a um, picture, a sort of like a selfie of um, my son and I. Um, this was taken in the car on our way to um, go check out some university, some university open days and tours and, and stuff like that. So it was just me and him for the day and so I decided to take a selfie to um, remember this exciting time in his life um, because yeah you know picking a university going and seeing all that sort of stuff is pretty exciting in a in a, a kid's life so um, and I'll just let you know because um, this was taken like August last year so he is at uni he got his first preference, which I was so excited about, yay! And um, he got the exact course that he wanted to do, so he was really, really happy. So enough about that. <laughs> so um, what I've done here, I'm just doing my layering, and I've used one um, piece of that um, that sort of diamondy white and black paper from the kit, and then I've just added a little bit of um, computer paper that was on my desk. I had a brown paper bag just sitting on my desk so I decided to cut a bit of that and um, some white um, computer paper there as well as I normally do and just um, sort of arrange them up just so I can see a little bit of each and just to build up that um, texture. See so yeah, I've said texture a lot <laughs> today haven't I? So now I'm going to sort of fuss around with my embellishments and I will stop recording in a minute and come back and I'll actually come back live because I, I just want to, at this point, I really felt like just having a chat. So um, yeah, I will see you then. Hey guys, um, I've just come back because I just wanted to just sort of tell you where I'm at. Um, now I'm having a little bit of trouble with what I want to, where I want to go with this layout because the um, April kit it's just gorgeous. Um, if you watched my unboxing, you would have seen how gorgeous the papers were, and um, but I wanted to scrap a photo of myself and my son and because most of they were very very girly so I just used that that one piece of paper from the kit that sort of had the triangle grid which I love that paper that one's from great paper 
um, Chasing Dreams collection. Um, I love this paper. So I just wanted to add, use that paper. And I wanted to um, use this Colour Blast because I was super, super excited to get it. Um, and I couldn't wait to see how it dried. So I had to use it. So I sort of did some sort of manly stripes and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, so what I'm thinking is, I wish you guys could answer me because I don't know if this, the cut apart um, mini words that we got in the kit, which are really, really awesome. I don't know if that's too black. I don't know. But um, I think I will probably just go for it. Do I just go? Do I go for it? Do you reckon? Um, yeah. So this is nothing stuck down. So I'm just sort of working out what I want to do, and I need to stick something down. So then that means it's fully, fully confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do it. This is nearly run out too. I'm gonna stick this one down. And then it's done. There we go. Look at that. I'm committed. I've committed. I have committed. There we go. Look at that. So I'd love to know your thoughts on um, what you think about uh, me doing this all the way down the page. If you think it's too bold or too black or um you know what i mean like i'd love to know what you think of the way i've gone with this and um yeah because i'd love to hear your thoughts um uh, i love to get um feedback on my layouts and um the little techniques that i do every now and then i don't do them all the time but just every now and then do little techniques and stuff for you um i would really like to know your thoughts on them or what you would like me to um do if you've got something that you want to learn something in, that you've gotten in that in the april kit that maybe you um want an idea or something like that and i can do that in my next video so um yeah just leave a comment below and um yeah and i'll and i'll work on that and do that for you so um i will stop um doing my live thing now and um i will go back to fast forward i just sort of wanted to talk a little bit i felt like i needed to talk i didn't really talk about anything super important but i just felt like i needed to say something i don't know why maybe because i'm sitting here and the house is silent and um maybe i just need to hear some voice some voices so um so yeah i'll go back to um the fast forward and finish gluing this down and add my journaling and um yeah and i'll yeah i'll be back on the other side in a voiceover yes i know that was just strange um I just I sometimes just get like that and um, I really did feel like having a chat so I I'm sorry that was very strange but anyway so I'm back and now I'm just adhering everything down and just using some double sided, -sided tape and um, I used my um, mini stapler there to attach the little cluster of um, tags there and um, yeah just double sided tape sticking everything down and um then i pretty sure so this is why i like to stick down like off camera off recording because like what do you say you can't keep saying i'm sticking this down i'm sticking this down can you <laughs> it's a bit strange isn't it so this is probably one of the reasons why i don't like um doing a voiceover as i am adhering everything down because I you can see what I'm doing so so <laughs> so it's just strange to me um 
so that washi tape there came in the kit and it's absolutely gorgeous it's black and it's got like this gold foil on it and it, one um, part of the washi said um, I think life's life is an adventure or um, something like that and it was just perfect for the theme that I was going for like I was doing this as a you know you know follow your dreams type of a layout adventure and all that because it's a new beginning for my son and sort of that's where I was sort of um, going so I decided that it needed a little bit of thread and believe it or not I didn't have any black thread can you believe that didn't have one bit of black thread so um, I've just pulled out this is that um, embroidery thread stuff and it's a lot thicker so I'm just here trying to pull it apart to make it a little bit, bit more a little bit a little bit a little bit more um, stringier um, so it would sort of you know like the way I like to have it on my layout so it didn't actually work how I liked it but it'll do um, I just showed you my Chico then. I've been eating Chicos on my desk because the, the lovely Steph, my fearless leader, sent me a bag of Chicos with my kit. If you saw my unboxing, you would have seen them. And I love Chicos. They're my favorite. And so, yeah, I was super excited. So I hide them in my desk and um, eat them while I scrap. And uh, did you see the new um, Chicos? The Chicos with the strawberry, the cream part from the strawberry and cream. Oh my god, they are so yum. They're only limited edition, so I think I've brought about five packs already, which is not really good for the figure. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, and just went totally off track then. So now I'm coming back in with some white paint, and because um, I just wanted those black little um, mini, wor mini words, little cutout things, um, they really stood out, and I wanted to sort of dull them back a little bit, so adding a little bit of white does that for me and so then I felt I had to add more white around the whole layout so this is what I'm doing here so I'm just using a little brush and I'm just sort of scrubbing it around the edges um, and blending it in on the paper in my um, cluster my um, layering mm. cluster and you know over the embellishments like the bird and the, the arrows the wood veneer arrows and stuff like that and um, yeah it just it finishes it off because I added it to the word stickers at the top so it all sort of works in together so today I decided to come in with a black border not a gray lead border I came in with my black border and I brought the I wanted to do black because of all that black and I really needed to tie it in a little bit more because I didn't have a lot of black down in the embellishment um, cluster in the corner there so I really really needed to add that little bit more black and just doing a little bit of a, a squigglies at each corner there which I like to do because it makes it look messy and I love messy and now I couldn't resist I had to come in with my grey lead it felt naked without my grey lead and just added some um, squiggly doodles around the layout so that's pretty much it for me and I'm done so um, please subscribe to the Killaholics kit YouTube channel it is awesome there's heaps of DT girls on here and everyone does awesome awesome stuff and um, I will see you all next time so bye